Welcome guys. So many people have asked me how I managed to write my first book at 18 and published it. Okay, so I want to share three very quick tips on how you as a volume writer can write and publish your first book. Three simple tips. So first of all, number one is you really want to know if you're a writer. Are you born for this or you just think because so many people are writing you want to join the clique and start to write anyone who tells stories well can potentially be a very good writer so if you're someone who loves stories or loves to tell stories or loves to put your thought together you know in this very nice manner you can potentially be a writer if you're certain that this is what you want to do you want to write the next step is to start writing down your thoughts I see many amazing people who share very amazing things from the words of their mouth and I just tell them why don't you put this down on paper it could go a long way it could reach more people and so if you want to write the first thing to do is to start putting down your thoughts together think sit down think what do I want to write about how do I want it to be is it going to be in chapters is it going to be fiction or non-fiction and then you sit down and start to put your thoughts together you start to write now most people I have met who want to become writers tell me that one of their biggest challenges is with doing the actual writing they do not either have a discipline or they find it difficult to just write about you know say a book is going to take 200 pages how do I write 200 pages I would share with you my secret to writing that much when I have a new book or a new project I'm working on one thing I do is to write one hour every day writing one hour every day or putting myself through that discipline enables me to make progress with whatever it is I'm writing so I put in one hour every day and tell myself the minimum I'm going to write for this one hour is a page some days thoughts flow sometimes thoughts just don't flow as much as other days so I give myself one hour whatever it is I write one hour every day I give myself that commitment to write it every day when you're done with writing, the next step is to start sourcing it for a printer or some people like to say a publisher. But they're actually two different things. Sourcing for a publisher. You could actually be doing this while you're writing, but if you think it's a cumbersome tax, when you're done writing, you start to source for a printer and publisher. There's so many good printers and publishers. You could find a lot of them in Abuja here. You could find a lot of some of them in Lagos or where, whichever city where you find yourself. I hear there are a lot of good publishers too in Ibadan. So you start the source for a publisher. Now what actually drives you in what kind of printer or publisher you pick at the end of the day is with the kind of budget you have and the quality of their work. So you're looking at these two things, you know, side by side. You want someone who's going to give you quality work and someone who you can also pay. You don't want to get someone who's going to give you quality work and someone you cannot pay. So you source for someone you can pay and someone who's also going to give you at least good enough quality for what you can afford. So you start to source for this. Ask questions, you could ask people, you could go online and start to serve for all for different kind of publishers, you know, and printers. There are, there are lots of them out there. There's um, uh, craft books. We have um, just a lot of them out there. So check up, check them on black. There are also some of them that are not very popular and will give you very, very, very good quality. So check for them out there, look for them. And when you find them, contact the publisher and tell him what's going to be the cost to do this for me. Usually the publisher would ask you to send what you've written. So something like your manuscript. So you send your manuscript to your publisher via email or you give them a hard copy if he or she is close to you. They will go through it and make it into a book e-format. That is a soft copy book format. They will not be able to tell you how many pages your book would have in it. So you usually write or type in A4, but when they turn it to you, you say to your book format is usually different so maybe you had 40 pages of a4 you're definitely not going to have 40 pages when it's turned into a book format you probably have more than that or uh, yeah probably more than that so he's going to give you a cost based on the number of pages and the kind of cover you want you want a gloss cover you want a matte cover when he gives you a cost i would advise that you meet so many other publishers to send them your manuscript and then they give you their own cost. So when they give you this cost, you compare and see what works best for you. 
also you want to see other things that the publisher has done see his other works the other books he has published or printed and see if the quality really meets the kind of standard you're looking for if he meets it fine so you choose between all those publishers that you've contacted which one really suits you best and which one you can't afford and then you go for it when your publisher takes your book your book can be ready in as much as say three weeks to a month depending because but if he has a lot of jobs to do maybe and yours is somewhere in line this may take longer than this but it depends on your publisher all the same so i think you should throw your phobia away and start writing i love to tell people that there are lots of gifts in you you could do so many things and what is stopping you from actually realizing your dream and doing what you want to do is because you are afraid so if you're a budding writer someone who wants to publish you always had it in your mind say I want to write I want to do this now is the time to throw your fears away throw them like this to throw your fears away and start to write now because God has put that gift in you for a purpose it was not it isn't for decoration it's not because he wants you to look around and see other people who are writing and say oh this person writes so well it's so nice Aww. no it's because he wants you to actually use your gift do not be like the one talent man who buried his gift under the ground because he was afraid or because he thought that the person who had given him the gift was unfair so God is not unfair by giving you that gift don't say it's too small why is it that this person has other gifts and I just have this one make use of that one which you have and I tell you you begin to unearth other gifts that in you this is cheers to your writing journey see you in my next video